Hey, what's up everybody out there on YouTube? Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief, here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. It's 12 midnight, and now it's launch day. AMD is once again hitting hard in the midline consumer market with the release of the new HD Radeon 6790. Now, what is the 6790? 6790 is going to be one of their cards that's going to compete probably with the 550 Ti series. They're going to be about neck and neck in price. Still based on the 40 nanometer processor. It has a, um, excuse me, it's based on the 40 nanometer process. It also has an 800 stream processors and 840 megahertz core clock. It features one gigabyte of DDR5 memory with a 256 bit memory interface and has a 4.2 gigabit per second overall memory bandwidth. Should be a pretty little fast card for what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and drop down now, let you guys check out the card itself. The card comes in at 24.8 centimeters. I'll let you guys guess it back to inches this time, but it's actually like nine and three quarters inches. The card's pretty good. It has all of the nice, good cooling solutions that you get from the people at Sapphire. I'm trying to spin it around. Has the Vaporex cooling. You can see that by the heat pipe inside of here. This actually helps keep the card very cool by taking all the hot heat into the heat pipes and then dissipating it away from the GPU. You can also see that we have two power connectors here. These are each for 75 watts each with a total power of 150 watts combined and then another 75 watts coming from the PCI slot itself. The card's pretty nice, has a nice custom plate on the front, nice fan, it's pretty light too, it doesn't weigh very much. Card's pretty thin too, it's going to just fit in a two slot capacity, not like some of the bigger cards we've seen from ASUS. We're going to flip it around, take a look at the rear I.O. On the rear I.O. we have two DVIs, one HDMI, and one display port. So this has a lot of options for cooking up to your monitors. Like I stated earlier, this card does support both the iFinity and Crossfire. There's a single Crossfire finger here on the top so that you can hook it with the cable onto another card. So a quick recap before we bounce into the performance. The card's based on the 40 nanometer process. It features 800 stream processors, 40 texture units, has an 840 megahertz core clock speed, features one gigabyte of DDR5 memory with a 256 bit memory interface and 4.2 gigabits per second overall memory bandwidth. Pretty fast little card. So now let's jump into the performance and see how it competes against the competition. So here we have it. We've got another card that's competing in that sub 200 price range. This category is starting to get filled up pretty quickly. So at the end of the day, what it's really going to come down to is kind of your personal choice. Because at this range, there are so many cards to choose from and so many opinions on the cards that trying to choose one to specify this particular one is the greatest one is going to be very hard to do. If you like all of the AMD products, you like what they bring to market, the 6790 has some good features. For the price range that it's in, it competes very well for what it's aimed at. So at the end of the day, if you wanna spend $160, 
Want to get a video card that will play all your games at a good resolution? Most people are only going to have either a 1920 by 1200 or less monitor anyways, so it's going to be perfect for those ranges. So I give a thumbs up. I know it's very confusing in the market, but if you like AMD products and you only want to spend a low amount of money for this type of card and where it's headed for, it's a very good, solid product. Thanks for watching.